Hello, fellow floss tubers. It's Patty here with Patty Stitches. Today is March the 4th, 2024, and this is episode 256. On today's show, I have whips to show you. Yes, I said whips. Yay. So sit back and relax. Grab your beverage of choice. I'm doing water today. Your craft of choice, and let's chat. So how was everybody's week? Mine is slowly getting back to normal. Um, we didn't have any pressing issues uh, except for the cold. Um, Friday, I went to knitting group and that was a lot of fun. I told everybody that I would go if it was warmer than 20 below Fahrenheit, which it was. It was 14 below, I believe. So I went to knitting and I'm really glad I did. I... Uh, hung out with them. Our garage door was not done last Friday. It's going to be done this Friday because it has warmed up enough to where I think having the air in for a while should be okay. Um, hopefully we have a stick of um, pipe in the garage that helps heat the garage, but it's also the thermostats on the inside of the house and there's no thermostat in the inside of the garage. So the garage does cool off quite a bit. So hopefully the garage, the opening won't be too long and we'll throw some heat on that pipe just to make sure it doesn't freeze, but it should be okay. Um, Sunday we had the Littles, had a really great time. Um, their other grandmother is coming into town. So they're Mimi, that's what they call her. And I'm super excited for my daughter-in-law. She hasn't seen her mom in quite a while and she's never met the littlest man in person so it's going to be great to uh, have her here for a couple of weeks i think she's here for two and a half weeks and she has other children to see here but it's going to be so great for my daughter-in-law and my grandsons to be hanging out with their mimi that's very important um so i'm not sure if i'm going to get them for the next couple sundays which i am perfectly fine with because Mimi needs that time. I can't be selfish and keep it all for me, right? Right. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, other than that, there really hasn't been anything else too exciting going on here. Just the same old stuff. So shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. Okay, I'm going to start off with the gamer because I have worked on that this week. And this is Charted by Gecko Rouge. And uh, art is by Medusa Dollmaker. She is being stitched one over one on 25 count, easy count grid. And I am using the floss from the kit. I got a page finish this week, guys. Yes, I got a page, page finish. So number one is done. And I am 2%, 2% done. So here's where we're at. And so I am working on page two. I'm not sure if I'm going to go down across like I did the last time or if I'm just going to do row by row. It all just depends on how I'm feeling. So, but man, I can't wait to get out of these grays. <laughs> I cannot wait to get out of these grays. So I may go <laughs> this way to get into different colors a lot faster, but that's where we're at. And then I did other stitching. Yes, surprise, surprise, I did do other stitching. I went ahead and did the February. I caught up with the February One Dozen Quakers. So this is Bake Me a Quaker Sal with EJ from Sunshine Stitchers. And I am stitching this on 32 Count Dune by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. It was a Fabric of the Month Club from Garon Stitchery. I am using the called for floss. I did finish all of February except for the one over one that was right here in the beginning of this little bit right there. I decided to wait until I get to that. So since I am using the variegated floss and the tonal floss, I don't want to mess up the, uh, the flow of the floss. So I'll just wait until we get there. I have decided not to do any more of the one over one unless I change my mind in December and, and playing catch up that I might go ahead and fill in the one over one, but 
the one over one is really a pain and I just am not enjoying it. So I am just going to leave it and decide what I want to do later. So let me show you what my February progress looks like. So February, like I said, is all done except for the one over one and that little bit that goes right out here. So March, I had to think of my... <laughs> I had to think of what next this month is actually will be the um, border corner down and then the finishing of this quadrant these little bits here and here are not part of February but I went ahead since I had the floss and just went ahead and did it anyway so that's where we're at so yay and I'll show you on that so it'll be this section here is for March. So, yay! Put this back in its bag. I also worked on my monthly marabilia, which is no longer a monthly marabilia, but a until it's finished marabilia. So, I'm going back to Monday marabilias. So, I am working on touching the autumn sky because she is one of the closest ones to being finished. Um, I am working on her, this part of her, I guess that's her apron. Yeah, that's her apron on top of the dress. So this is the back part of the apron. And I filled in some of the colors here. Okay, so what's left of this apron is there's two more colors. As you see, I started oops, this color and it'll fill in here, and then there's beads. So I don't bead and backstitch until the end. So we will fill that in. Um, there are leaves that are all over, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do those or not. That's a last minute decision. When I am going to backstitch and bead, I'll see if I want those leaves in there or not. So hopefully I can finish this section today and then move out and finish and start working on her dress because I haven't done any of her dress. So all the front is still needs to be done. So that's what I'm at. This is 32 count Stellar by Picture This Plus. And I was really happy to get back into this Mirabilia. It was a happy stitch. It reminds me of my mom. I don't know why, but it just does. It just reminds me of something she would have worn as a child. My grandmother made all my mom's clothes when she was a kid, when she was young, so yay. Okay, and the other thing, the last thing I worked on, I worked on Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Samplers. Samplery? Samplers. So I am up in here. So I have all this done. So I still have all this to go. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could get it done this year. I don't think so. <laughs> I am stitching this on 32 Bisque by Lakeside Linens. Let's see. That's the, this side. And I just kept plugging along here. I uh, put the Griffin's toes in. So the griffins, toes in, so I knew how far the border went. I filled in some more of the border. I did the, uh, started doing from here over. So everything that's here, down here over. I also did that little section. So yeah, it was a very rewarding stitch. And I'm doing this two over two. And a 20, let's see, I haven't told you guys the colors in a long time. So, 820, the uh, pink, I have been doing pink every once in a while for hearts and things, and that's 893. I'm doing the, there's light bluish color here, I'll show you. This light blue is 4230, and then the dark multicolor is 4245. So, oops, I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's all a mixture of the 820. And I'm not sure the other colors in there, but there's purples in there too. So 
I'm really happy with how this is turning out. This was one that I UFO'd quite a while ago. And then I picked it up. And of course, I took it to Hawaii with me and worked on it for a month. And I got a lot accomplished that month. And it just made me fall back into love with it again. So, yay. Um, plans. I'll be working on Gamer again. I'm really enjoying Gamer. I am sorry for those of you who are stitching a Heaven and Earth design with me. I apologize. I just cannot get into that uh, rainbow colored thing just yet. Um, when I'm feeling it, I will. And that was the magic rainbow study, magic study. Uh, I just really can't get into that right now for some reason. I don't know why. I really wanted to do Gamer. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I love, I love the flowers. I play video games. Um, Mario, Link, Link is, Link is my jam. I loved Link so much. I always have. So, yeah, I really am enjoying stitching on this a lot. In fact, if you see this Game Boy down here, I still have my original Game Boy. So I think that's pretty awesome that I still have that original Game Boy. And the last time I used it, it did still work. So that's exciting. So, yeah. I'm really happy. And it's something that my sons and I enjoyed together. I used to sit over their shoulders and read the stuff for them. <laughs> my youngest son, I told him finally that, no, you need to learn to read because <laughs> Mama's not going to do it anymore. So that helped him uh, kind of learn to read a little bit better. So, but anyway, that is where we're at with this. It's so exciting. So exciting. So, um, so I'll be working on Gamer. I'll be working on the One Dozen Quaker to get um, Mar March, March done and the Mirabilia. And maybe I'll pull something from the cupboard. I've tried, and every time I've gone to the cupboard, nothing is really talking to me. Um, I wasn't going to start anything new, but I might. I might need some more new stuff and go through it one more time and see if there's anything else I want a UFO. Um, yeah. And I meant to do a video showing what I have in there, and I really apologize that I haven't done that. I'm just not feeling the um, videoing my, what is it, whip parades. So I'm sorry, that may not ever happen this year. Um, it seems that I seem to enjoy to do whip parades every other year. And I think that's probably what I will do. Um, so looking around, I really don't have anything else to show you guys, except I do want to show you, I should want to show you this one thing. This is the pillow that I made for my mom for her birthday several years ago. My grandmother had a faux fur uh, vest, so I cut it out and made this pillow for my mom, and she really liked it. Um, it went from the house to both of the homes that she lived in before she passed. So here it is, and um, I'm glad I got it back. It's a nice reminder. When I need a hug from my mom, I come in and I hug it. I know that's silly, but it makes me happy. And it was fun. So this was Needlepoint. And uh, she loved bears. So that's my one special piece that I won't get rid of. It will be going with me wherever I go from now on. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, but other than that, I really don't have anything else to talk to you guys about. So I hope that I didn't do too much of a downer the last couple of weeks. I apologize for that. But that's life. And I hope that you are staying safe, healthy, and happy. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I'll see you guys next week.